At the end of the day, there's only one remedy for that, and that is you need to throw the bums out. As long as there's a majority in Congress that is willing to do this president's will, and as long as we have a deeply unethical president, there's only one remedy. Really? Adam Schiff telling Republicans what they have to do if they, unless they want to just get thrown out themselves and that stand up to the president. Senator Bill, uh, Dr. Bill Cassidy, senator from Louisiana, Mr. Tell It Like It Is, uh, has an opportunity to, to maybe stand up to the president. He has before in the past. Senator, are you going to take Adam Schiff's advice? You know, yeah, Adam Schiff is right. We should go back to where our economy is growing at 1% per year, in which people are leaving the workforce, in which, uh, in which wages are not growing, the stock market is flat. That's what we want to go back to. Don't think so, Adam. We want prosperity, not, not doom and gloom socialism. And, you know, there, there are some programs you agree with, and I think for the most part when Republicans don't agree with the president, whether it's a tweet or, or something else, you guys say it. Absolutely. And, and indeed, we get criticized for saying it. On the other hand, on the other hand, if you look at what we've been able to accomplish with a president that will sign into law Republican principles, we've got the best economy in 30 years. We've got, uh, uh, we've de we've, we've, we've got uh, conservative judiciary. We've repealed uh, regulations that have been a burden of up to $60 billion on businesses, allowing them to invest in workers and raising workers' wages. We've got a lot of accomplishments because of Republican principles and, and, and just not going back, Adam, not going back. Well, one thing is, uh, Senator, and you could understand this as a doctor, if you ask the average person, who are either Republican or Democrat, what matters most, number one or two is health care. And you guys really haven't effectively addressed it famously, the thumbs down from John McCain, and many doubt the skinny bill would have done much anyway. So we're in between Obamacare and implosion. What do you suggest you could get done before November or period? We got to get some stuff done that will lower drug costs and overall costs for the patient. So one thing we're trying to do is price transparency so that if somebody so that if somebody um, uh, go, gets an x-ray order for their child's belly, they will know the cost of that before they go in to get it done, and they can price shop. Similarly, there are gag laws for um, the pharmacies where the pharmacist cannot tell the patient it would be cheaper for them to pay cash as opposed to go through their insurance. And so, so what we're trying to do is make it illegal for these gag clauses so the pharmacist can tell the patient she'll save 20 bucks if she pays cash instead of going through insurance. There's those sorts of things we can do giving power back to the patient. So what are you doing legislatively to make that happen? What do we look for? So we are going to introduce legislation banning the so-called gag clause. We hope to introduce soon legislation mandating price transparency so that patients can maybe scan a barcode and know how something costs here versus going over there. Then we're going to also introduce legislation regarding drug costs. Right now, there is a medicine that you could, that's a combination of Motrin and Pepsi. You can buy them over the counter, spend 20 bucks a month. Or you can get it through a prescription and pay $2,600 a month, $2,600 for medicines that should only cost you $20 if you buy it over the counter. We want patients to know that have some sort of analysis to tell us two thousand six hundred dollars you can have the same pills for twenty I, I just can't imagine there's much pushback on that but who knows a couple of things uh, we have always, go ahead there's, there's always going to be pushback when people are making lots of money because the American citizen doesn't know what's going on Trump is all about that Trump is about lowering the, um, the drug costs uh, and he spoke to say things like the gag order when he spoke in the Rose Garden. And so we think we'll have a nice partnership with the president on this. Senator, I want to bring it your part of you. Uh, part of your job is that you're in Veterans Affairs, uh, Appropriation and Veterans Affairs Committee. Uh, what do you think about Robert Wilkie possibly um, uh, stepping up from acting to directing the VA, the VA being VA I, secretary? I think he'll be a good choice. I think we'll, I think you'll be able to get through the nomination process. I think he's willing to work with everybody, with the veterans as well as reflect the president's goal of how do we get better care but save the taxpayer some money. Right now we have worse care and we're costing the taxpayer a lot of money. 
So with those dual objectives, I think you'll do a great job. Senator, I also hear the Senate Cora Gardner is not giving up on health care before November. He wants to bring back health care, excuse me, he, uh, immigration. He wants to bring back some type of DACA deal. Where is that at? Where do you stand? Hey, the president has given a great deal to Democrats. He was more generous than Obama was for the DACA kids. All he wants is to secure the wall. My office, I am looking for different ways to pay for securing the wall. Right now, we confiscate about $7 billion from drug dealers, taking the money from the United States back to Mexico. We could increase it a whole lot more. Let's use some of that money to secure the wall, to, to secure the border, to build the wall. Uh, we think it's a win-win for everybody. Do you see a difference between the term informant and spy when it comes to the New York Times Washington Post story about what happened in March of 2016 with this Cambridge professor? Boy, if there is a difference, it may be a difference without a distinction, because the more you read about it, the more he was kind of throwing cash around trying to get people engaged. Uh, it may have been an informant, but it certainly seemed like he was trying to become a spy. So is the president blowing out of proportion? I think the president has a right, as we all have a right, to be concerned about this investigation when a party in power, which controls the intelligence committees, seems to be directing these intelligence committees in a direction against the opposing party. Uh, by the way, it's not just the public. The federal judge is the one that said to the Mueller investigation, show me your mandate for where you're going, because you seem yeah. to be going a lot further. Senator so Bill Cass a Senator Bill Cassidy using that doctor title to push health care. Look for it in the Senate this week.